Hi, I'm going to be going through a quick two-minute tour of the test suite that lives inside Switchbox Developer Central. So what you're looking at here is a handy-dandy tool that you can use to test your applications, test the request that you'd like to send, and test to make sure that your PBX is sending back appropriate responses. So the first step of this is going to be to enter in our method details. So I'm going to do that right here. I just want to put in the server, username, and password for the server. And your request type. As you can see, um, I can choose either JSON or XML. So if you want to interact with this using JavaScript, you can do that. But I'm just going to leave this at XML. I'm going to pick a category um, for my method. And what I'm going to want to do, what I'm going to show, is how to get information about extensions on your server. So that falls under extensions. And then this drop down will show me all the different methods that are available under that category. So you can see there's quite a few of them. The one that I want is called get info. Um, but when I choose this, it's going to show me um, a link so that I can check out the documentation for any of these methods. So if you have questions about, um, for example, what arguments you might pass, it will show you right here in our handy dandy wiki. But the other thing that you can do is use the sample values button. It'll show you um, examples in here, but I know that this is just asking me for extensions and I want information on 112. And if I want to pass it an array, I can do 113 as well. Um, and then if I want to see what the request actually looks like when it gets sent, I can go ahead and hit this little refresh and it will show me the request and I can see the structure of all of that XML. So we're going to send that and then the server is going to respond back. So sure enough, it got back to me and I can see my XML right down here. So this is a wonderful way to find out um, the status of extensions on your system, permissions that they have, their account ID, the name, when they were created, the email address, just about everything, what type of extension they are. So you can use the API to get all kinds of info out of the server, and this handy test tool will make that so much easier when you're developing your apps.